Good morning, and we are we apologize for the technical difficulties earlier today in trying to bring you this webinar live, but we are happy to send it out to everyone, and hopefully no one is having any technical difficulties viewing the recorded version. Um, but today what we want to talk to everyone about is Sunlink's ballasted ground mount system, specifically in how cast in place can cut your cost. So Sunlink has offered the ground mount system for quite some time now, the ballasted ground mount system, but we traditionally have offered it with a precast ballast block as the foundation. And what we're offering today, what we have launched recently, is a cast in place option for the ballasted ground mount system. So my name is Kate Trono. I'm the Director of Product Management. I head up the ground mount, <clears throat> the ground mount portfolio. I started out at Sunlink about four years ago within the structural group. My background is in structural engineering, and I was on working on the making our structural systems and our ground mount systems in particular more efficient, and then moved over into the product management group. And with me today is Nick Troya. Nick, if you could introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Nick Troya. Uh, I am currently the director of project management here at Sunlink. My background consists of a mixture of commercial construction project management and commercial and utility scale project management in the solar scape, uh, most recently here in the solar racking arena. So today what we are going to talk about is Sunlink's ballasted ground mount system, specifically the cast-in-place alternative, how we're solving customer pain points. Throughout the history of offering this ballasted ground mount system, we have been very actively listening to our customers and installers' feedback on how it is to put this system up in the field. And so what we really tried to get to do with the cast-in-place alternative is solve any customer pain points that we've been hearing, specifically around timeline, site, special kind of conditions that our customers are seeing. And then we also just want to do an overview of the product design. And then Nick is going to talk about installation best practices and options and the project management service that we offer here at Sunlink for every one of the projects that we do and how that really fits in nicely with this cast in place alternative because we do help any customer through the through any kind of challenges that they're seeing on site, any sort of special installation issues that they may need, we will work with you through any of those challenges that you're seeing. And if we would have gotten this to work live, we would have been doing a question and answer segment at the end. Since we're not able to do that today, um, we would love to hear your feedback. Please send any questions or comments or follow up, anything you would like to sales at sunlink.com, and we will be sure to get right back to you as soon as possible. So Sunlink has done more than 400 megawatts of ground mount projects in the United States and Canada. <clears throat> we have seen a wide range of environmental conditions for our projects, and we really like to say that our, our products can can meet the most extreme things that you can throw at us. So we have designed product projects in high wind zones, high snow zones, and we've been able to really work with our customers on finding the best product that meets their requirements. Sunlink's ballasted ground mount system in particular is really suited for the landfills, the brown fields, the type of sites that ground penetration is not an option. So whether that's because there's a land cap that can't be penetrated or there's some sort of uh, some sort of reticence in putting in disturbing the soil, or also what I have seen is that in particularly high corrosive soils, if a, if a steel driven post is is not acceptable because of corrosive soils, then, they, then the customer, customer might opt to go with a ballasted system. Also another reason that our customers have chosen our ballasted ground mount system is because of its low profile. So on community solar projects where the project might really be a marquee installation and you want to see that aesthetic that's low profile, that's really um, really level and looks really beautiful out on a site, we have seen our customers choosing this product. 
as we've worked with our customers through a whole host of different types of projects, different types of challenges, we have seen some running customer pain points throughout all of those different types of projects. In particular is a high ballast shipping cost. And this varies pretty widely on, from site to site what this shipping cost might come in at, but it's one of those items that we don't love to see because it's just a moving cost and it doesn't, it's not something we like to see for our projects. And then also because of the variance, it's a hard thing to estimate uh, before we have the project running. So the precast supplier logistics, that's really what's driving this. Depending on the site location, our precasters, our network of precasters may be varying degrees from that site. And they also may be of varying sizes. So they may have different abilities in terms of their throughput. And on really large sites or sites where the schedule is particularly critical, this can be a challenge because you can't get enough of the blocks through the, through the precast supplier and then shipped over to the site in the time that the installer would like to see. Additionally, sometimes on, our, on the projects that we've seen, <clears throat> quickly sourcing additional ballast may become an issue. So this would be if the, if the layout changes slightly and table sizes vary a little bit, we want to add some more foundation blocks because of some sort of site issue that we didn't know about before when we were doing the original layout. Um, if you wanted to add some volume at, the, at a later notice, onto a site, we've seen that before, and quickly sourcing that additional ballast and quickly getting it out on site, that can be a challenge also when you're working with precast suppliers. In terms of project logistics, we see shipping running from about $12,000 to $32,000 per megawatt. And again, we just we don't love to see this on our projects. We really would not like to have this item as part of what our, what our system costs to install. So casting in place and off-the-shelf formwork is the direction we went in. We think that, this pro that our product is differentiated because it, is, it really empowers the installer to have full ownership of their schedule and of their procurement process in terms of foundation if they so desire. Of course, Sunlink could handle everything and handle the relationship with the cast-in-place company with getting the Sonotube formwork or some similar off-the-shelf formwork out to site. But if the installer has local relationships that they feel they can leverage, if they have uh, something in terms of their schedule that they feel they are best equipped to handle, then this really does empower those installers to control their entire project. Uh, rather than depending on, on some sort of Sunlink special piece on the foundation aspect. Another item that we really like to see, especially in the projects where aesthetics are a priority, is that with this cast-in-place foundation option, because it is off-the-shelf formwork, it can be cut to varying heights. So, while we specify a required minimum weight in order to have enough capacity in the foundation for the racking system, depending on the specific environmental loads, the foundations can, the formwork rather, can then be cut higher so that there would be more weight at that particular location. Again, making sure to not exceed the maximum capacity if this is a landfill with a cap that has a specific maximum pressure. But it gives our installers a little bit of flexibility there that is additional to the normal flexibility in the rack itself in order to meet grade following. So in order to really maximize that, plum level aesthetic that we, have, that we sometimes see as a priority on these projects. So now I'd like to do a cast in place foundation overview for everyone. And again, just to reiterate, if you have any follow up questions that you would like to ask, anything you'd like to discuss with a member of our team, just shoot us an email at sales at sunlink.com and we'll get back to you right away and set up a call with the relevant parties if that's what would help you. 
So just to reiterate here, we are using off-the-shelf formwork, standard cylindrical cardboard, uh, in order to cast our foundations. It's easy to source. It can also be purchased directly from Sunlink. As part of our quoting process, we will quote what we expect these to cost, depending on the region in which your project is located. We've worked with a bunch of different suppliers who can get us these sonotubes or something similar. So we can quote what we think it would cost to get these out to your project site. Um, but again, we also, we, we're really working to empower the installers. So if this is something that installers have a local relationship with, with and that they think they can handle uh, more smoothly than handing it off to our project management team, that's perfectly fine. We are very comfortable with that. The racking system itself is very simple. The mounting frame comes pre-installed, ready to go, and that <clears throat> uh, will ship directly to site. And then we have a rail that goes on top of this mounting frame. That's what the modules rest on, using module clamps, a landing pad and a center clamp in order to attach to the rail. So it's a total of four components plus fasteners, very quick to assemble. Uh, it's a really great product for installers who are new to solar, installers who are well-versed in solar. It's a, it's a really great product for ground mount systems. It also supports both framed and frameless modules, which we have, which we've seen on certain projects that becomes very, a very high priority that we're able to mount both, both types of modules. It uses all thread fasteners to connect the mounting frame to the ballast block. So this is another area where we do give, uh, we give a lot of tolerance here on grade following and just on matching up the foundation, matching up the, rate, the mounting frame to the foundation so that we meet those plum aesthetics. And you can, you can move that, uh, you can move that rack, that mounting frame up and down along the all threads in order to best connect the ballast. So now I'm going to pass this off to Nick as he goes over installation best practices. Hi, everyone. Um, now I would like to begin by reviewing some of the assembly steps of the Sunlink ballasted ground mount system and then continue into some of the constructability benefits of a cast in place system. As you will note here, there are four very easy steps to assembling the structure prior to placing the concrete into the forms. Step one is to position the forms into their designated pre-staked locations. The second step is to place the mounting frames situated on two by four blocking into the sauna tube forms. The third step is to attach the horizontal rails to create rigidity and give the proper spacing of the mounting frames. And step four is to insert the Sunlink provided all thread studs through the base of the mounting frames. At that point, you're ready to place the concrete into the forms. From a constructability standpoint, one of the largest benefits to casting in place comes from the ease of placing the formwork into the required locations when compared to moving precast concrete blocks across the project site and placing them within tolerances that are typically required. If you do require a block to be placed in its final location after it has been cast, say due to site conditions or requirements for gravel beds, this is still an attractive option simply due to the ability to cast the quantities as needed on site and minimize the required yard space required for storing the blocks. Now I'd like to quickly run through an animation video showing how the complete system installation happens for a single table. As you can see, you're first going to place the sauna tubes, then going to set the 2 by 4 blocking. You'll then place the mounting frames on top, inserting the rails on top of the mounting frames, 
putting in the fasteners, and then the all thread, pouring the concrete into the forms, waiting for the concrete to cure. Once the concrete is cured, you will be set to take out the 2x4 blocking and install the modules on top. It's that simple. As we are all aware, every team has their own methodologies for installation or some perceived gain to this cast-in-place method. Taking this into consideration, we at Sunlink are very flexible in working with your crews to assist in any approach from the standard cast-in-place method we have referenced before, pre-casting on site and moving the blocks into place, or even casting at your own facility nearby with our forms and bringing them into the site if you so desire. As each project has its own challenges and nuances, each project will also have its own dedicated internal project manager within Sunlink. Your dedicated project manager will help you with all of your questions and needs surrounding the process and installation of the system and can provide a multitude of installation training, whether in our warehouse, via a WebEx, or on-site upon delivery. We can also provide on-site support for inventory, after delivery, or installation questions during the project as they come up. Other benefits to your dedicated project manager include assistance with engineering reports, permitting support, and delivery logistics, including live tracking and shipment updates throughout the life of the project. Wrapping up, uh, we've got, as we've mentioned before, we can provide live demonstrations of our system in our warehouse training center. We invite any of you to visit our facility in San Leandro for a demonstration. If you would like to arrange an in-person demo, please feel free to email us at webinar at sunlink.com and we will connect you with someone who can help set up that training. And thank you so much for joining us today. Again, I apologize for our technical difficulties earlier. And we would love to hear anything and everything that you have as feedback, questions about the product, questions about particular projects you have in mind and how we might be able to best suit your needs. So please email sales at sunlink.com and we will get back to you right away. Thank you again and have a great day.